Hi guys. In our last food, uh, video, we worked with transforms, moving this web design text on screen and then rotating it off. In this video, we're going to add a little bit more text here and change the opacity on it. So if you would please come over to your layers panel, add a new layer above web design. This is going to be another text layer. So choose your text tool. And in the center here, just type is the best. And accept your changes by clicking the check mark. Now let's go ahead and align this in the center. So let's uh, unlock that background layer and then hold down command or con command on a Mac, control on a PC, and that will allow you to select both of those. Then get your move tool by hitting the letter V on your keyboard. Now you can align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Come back and select just the background layer, lock it, and that way we won't mess around with it. And then choose, uh, select the is the best layer one more time. So you can see over here in the timeline panel that it brought it in above the web design layer. In fact, I'm going to close the web design layer because we are done working on that. Now twirl open is the best. Now you know that I want to work on opacity with this because that's the name of the, this, the name of this movie. So go ahead and click the stopwatch and that is going to set up my very first opacity keyframe. I want this when I want, uh, when this layer first comes in, I don't want it to be seen. I want it to fade in. So the opacity level will actually be set to zero. Don't be seen. And then a little bit later, as I drag my playhead forward, I'm going to add another keyframe. And here is where I want this to have a 100% opacity. Okay, let's scrub the playhead and make sure that that works well. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to play it from the beginning to make sure that the timing looks really good. Hit your space bar. Yeah, that's working, working pretty good. Okay, it really is that simple. You add a keyframe where you want it to be you set your opacity, you move your next, yeah, you move your playhead to the next spot, you set a second keyframe, and then you change your opacity to what it what the goal is for that particular layer. Okay. See you guys in the next video.